to do a quick review of the machine configuration. On this particular platform, we try to make a, a multi-dimensional system that allows you to cut a variety of materials without having to switch tools or options. We have two knives and a spindle. We start off with the tang knife. The tangential knife is hooked up to our linear four position ATC, which allows you to have four tools that will be automatically changed depending on what you're cutting. But it also has the capacity to put in a tool manually if you needed to. Next to the tangential knife is our new electric knife. The nice thing about the electric knife is it gives you the ability to cut materials a lot more rigid and a lot quicker than the previous knife we had. We also now have our third cutting head, which is our 10 horsepower HSD spindle. That gives me the ability to cut, whether it be aluminum, plywoods, a really diverse amount of material can be cut in this platform. This tool spindle is connected to our rotary tool changer. This particular tool changer has 10 positions. We also sell 7, 10, 14, and 21 position tool changes. So within this platform, I have the ability to cut any number of materials from falcon board, to aluminum, acrylics, plywoods. There's really nothing that I cannot process on this particular system without having to spend time changing options because all my tools are live. So the first job we're gonna run is gonna be using our last option here, which is our vision system. The vision system allows you to find jobs that require registration. And what I mean by that is, I've printed this job and I've placed it on the table. Now that it's on the bed, I don't know where it is in space. So the vision system will now go out, find the registration marks, determine the position of the job on the bed, and then we'll be able to cut it out. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do next. So we're just gonna get this job running. So the first thing we'll do is find the first registration mark, I think in the far left-hand corner, and then we'll move around the system. So I'll get out of the way so you, you can see what you came to see, which is a table running. So what you just heard is, was the system getting ready to go, the vacuum automatically turning on, and here we go. We're gonna find the first registration mark. That's registration mark number one. The camera is aligning to it. Perfect, it goes to the second location. It looks for the second dot. As you can see, the movement is where the camera is basically looking for the registration mark. It's found the third dot. And now it goes to the last one. So the nice thing about this, this system, I can use that vision system with my electric knife, which I'm using right now, or with my tangential knife, or even my spindle. So there is no reason why I couldn't be cutting this job out on a sheet of coroplast or 10 gauge aluminum, or even half inch aluminum. There's no restrictions because the system is so diverse. So we're just coming up to the end of this job and I'll take it out so you can see the quality of the cut after it's finished. Once the job ends, the machine will actually move to the back for a parking location so you can easily get access to the job. I'll take it out now so you can have a good look at what we've done. Again, when you're cutting with a knife, you're not actually removing material. That's why it's such a tight fit. So that's the item that we just finished cutting. Again, nice good edge quality, nice consistent position of the job. Again, this is falcon board. So the next material we're gonna cut, we'll be running an acrylic sheet. So we're running the spindle this time. Again, we went straight from using a knife to using the spindle. No tool changing manually required in this particular process. So when we're cutting the acrylic, one of the, you know, one of the big enemies of routing or cutting is heat. And the way we've dealt with that heat is with the cold air gun. The cold air gun takes regular compressed air and chills it down. So it pumps that compressed air into the, the dust collection boot, and that allows the, that air in there to be cool, cooling the tool and cooling the material where the tool interacts with it. It also causes the chips to move around. That way you get a better chip evacuation. That's also very important when cutting acrylic, because if I don't get proper chip evacuation, I will get heat sitting in my cut, thus causing the rewelding to occur. If I get the rewelding, I will not get that nice clean edge that I'm trying to, to develop when cutting this particular job. 
So now it's basically going up, we switch tools. We've done our basic engraver of the, of the panel, or the first pass of the panel, which is our rough cut. Now we're doing our finish pass. We'll tend to do a slower feed rate on the finish pass, again, trying to get that nice polished edge. Our objective here is to basically get a path right off the table that has a nice, clean finish to it, having to do very minimal, if any, secondary work after we've cut it. So the cold egg on is the first thing we want to look at when we're running a particular job like this. And again, our next important aspect of running this job is the chip collection. I want to be sure I get really good chip collection. I need to get those chips out of that cut. Again, the chips will pull away the heat. The cold egg gun will also help reduce the heat because it's chilling the, the boot. And because I've done that, I will, again, minimize the likelihood of getting any rewells. For this particular job, we're using a quarter inch O flute. Job is finished. Let's go take a look at that finished part and see what it looks like. Okay, as you can see, the pins came back up automatically. These are my alignment pins. This allows me to basically go from one sheet to the next by just, you know, pushing up against the pins. I'm going to pull the part out. As you can see, very little, if any, dust on the table. I'm just going to pull this off here. This is my finished plastic on this. Again, this had a mask on it, okay? Because it had a mask, I'm just gonna pull the machine to the front for a second so we can get a better look at this. The particular dust collection boot or foot that we use on this system is set up so it can ride right above the material, basically physically touching it. That's important. If by chance I was running a material that didn't have a masking on it, it was fully exposed, so my acrylic came unmasked, Using this particular foot puts me at a, you know, in the right place. I can now set that foot up so that the bottom of it just sits slightly above the material, still give me the dust collection I want, but it's not scratching the surface, okay? So again, this is my finished product. A nice clean edge. Again, it simply fits into the piece I had cut earlier. So again, what we're trying to establish here is the ability to go from cutting with a knife to cutting with a spindle. Getting a beautiful edge quality cut with the knife, getting an amazing edge quality cut with the spindle.